Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a wonderful recipe using eggs and semolina. Yes, eggs and semolina. Semolina means suji in India. You can see I am taking some semolina and two eggs but I am going to make this dish with four eggs. You may change the quantity according to your requirements, there is no problem. And I can say that you will be shocked with the result. The result will be so yummy and delicious. So at first I am taking a vessel and now I am going to crack some eggs. I am going to use 4 eggs for this recipe. So I am cracking them in the vessel. Two, three, and 4. So after cracking the eggs we need to add some sugar. So I am taking about 1 cup of sugar for 4 eggs. You may take half cup or more than that according to your taste. I am actually adding some more than required. And now 2 pinches of salt for uh, enhancing the taste of the sweetness. And 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. Now we need to beat everything very well. We need to whisk it for uh, some time until the sugar is melted very well. You may grind the sugar before adding uh, and uh, your process will be so fast. So let's beat it for some time until the sugar is melted. And here the sugar is very nicely melted as you can see. So after the sugar is melted we need to add the semolina in the vessel. So I am taking uh, 1 cup of semolina for 4 eggs and 1 cup of sugar. The quantity and ratio may vary. After mixing well, we need to confirm that the consistency of the batter is like the cake batter consistency. If the batter seems thin, then you may add some more semolina and after that we need to rest it for about half an hour. After mixing well, I think this consistency is perfect for our recipe. So I am not adding more semolina for this. Now I am going to cover it and leave it for about half an hour. After about half an hour, this is the consistency of our batter, but uh, I am not sure that uh, it's perfect or not. So we need a test for this recipe, but uh, you may add some uh, maida that means all purpose flour before uh, going to fry them. If you add about 1 to 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour into the batter, then you don't uh, need a test for this recipe. But uh, at first I am going to try it, I am going to test it if it's perfect or not. So I put some oil in a karhai and uh, we need a medium hot oil and we should keep the heat on medium. So I am testing the oil if it's uh, medium hot or not. But uh, it's not medium hot so we need to wait for another some time. After the oil is medium hot we need to add the gulgulas. Yes we call them gulgulas in India. Uh, just like normal gulgulas we need to add them with our hand like this after adding the gulgulas uh, if the semolina is spreading like this as you can notice the semolina is spreading in the oil uh, that means the batter is thinner than required so we need to uh, make it perfect but before making the batter perfect i am going to fry some gulgulas uh, i mean fritters fritters fries as you call it Though the semolina is spreading a little, uh, the gulgulas will be perfect and it will be uh, so much delicious and yummy. So I have added some gulgulas in the oil and I have fried them until a nice red color and they are done. Now I am taking them out from the oil. After that I am going to show you how to make the batter perfect for the gulgulas. So let's go for the batter. I am taking them out. And let's make the batter perfect for the gulgulas. So here is our batter and now I am adding some all purpose flour. 1 tablespoon and now 2nd tablespoon. That means 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour. And now we need to mix everything very well. After mixing well our batter will be ready for perfect gulgulas. Perfect fries. So our batter is ready, it is very nicely mixed up. Let's go for the pan again. So again I have heated the oil until medium hot and now I am adding the gulgulas one by one with my hand. You can see guys now the semolina is not spreading like before. The shapes are just like I have made them. 
so i'm going to add all the gulgulas in the pan as many as i can all the gulgulas are added and after some time after the lower side is fried a little we need to flip them like this and we need to fry them until a nice red color and they will be done you may use a fork for flipping it will be easy with a fork but i'm doing it like uh, this with the strainer and after some time the color is nice golden red as you can see and all of them are fried very nicely they're done so i'm taking them out from the oil with the help of the strainer i'm taking them out and after that i'm going to show both of them that means with uh, all purpose flour and without all purpose flour so here are they this is without all purpose flour and this is with all purpose flour there is no change in taste and the texture of the gulgulas. I am breaking them as you can see. They are very nicely cooked and they are so much yummy to eat. And the second one is from the first batch that means without all purpose flour. And it is also the same just like the first one. So there is no difference in taste and texture in both of them. Just uh, we need to make it perfect in the oil for frying. All of them are very good in taste, very delicious. Everybody will love it. So don't forget to try the simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video.